Good morning. You're on the road with Norman Jack, and we're enjoying some Los Angeles traffic on our way to the California Science Center, where Lockheed has one of their A12s on display. This is the, one of the earliest Blackbirds. It's not actually called the Blackbird. It was from the Oxcart program. It's uh, the only two-seat model built. Pretty cool plane. Let's go have a look at it. California Science Center. Here we come. Oh, is this Dodger Stadium? Oh, look at that. And over here in the parking lot of the California Science Center is the only Lockheed A12 two-seat trainer. Here she is. Sitting all by herself out in the elements. Built in 1962. They only built one of these. And how long is it gonna last out here in the weather? It's a really big airplane. The SR-71 was a little bit bigger. But this is the first of the Blackbirds. She's made of titanium and she's unpainted. That's entirely titanium. Really great look at the, uh, the inlets here. The spikes are completely titanium. Later in the program, they were made out of a composite on the SRs. And interestingly enough, it says U.S. Air Force on it, but it wasn't. This aircraft was paid for by the CIA. And when it flew, it never had any markings on it. Well, this one here probably did. This was the trainer. I'll bet you it did have that on it. But this is the only one of these they made with two seats. They made a total of 50 Blackbirds, but this wasn't considered a Blackbird. This was the ox cart program, the CIA called it. And this aircraft operated at Groom Lake, which is now um, Area 51. And eventually, I think it was transferred to Palmdale and put into storage. It came out of storage in the late 90s when the, everything was declassified. But these things were secret for a really long time. And it looks like they've had the whole fuselage apart and they put in a lifting ring at the bulkhead there, the main joint. So is this thing like 2200 miles an hour? 2300 miles an hour? Well, let's go downstairs. Jackie O. The wing has that little dipsy doodle in it. Um, as a technique, it works at low speed. That it creates lift, and at high speed, when you get to Mach 3, it actually cancels out that whole part of the wing you don't want any more lift than it already has at that speed. What do you think, Jackie? <laughs> I think it's pretty amazing that it's not even painted, you know? It's just sitting here. Are they playing noises in here? Are they? No, that's all the police helicopters circling over there. They're not police helicopters. There seems to be a lot of helicopters and stuff up there. Oh, shit. It is a big plane, eh? Look, there's a little patch. I see a little patch. And your landing gear doors are right here. 
and forward chunk is a fuel tank and behind is a huge fuel tank. But basically the whole center of the body is fuel tanks. And then this aircraft was designed for reconnaissance, but this particular one doesn't have any of that on it because this one's all about just training the guys to handle this thing in the, in the pattern of the landing and uh, making sure they can refuel. If you can't put fuel in this thing, you can't fly it. You see, I think they split the whole thing apart and they put that bulkhead in. You see it's a two inch solid and they've got it mounted from the bottom and it's got a lifting hook on the top. I think they, this one plane's been split just for the sake of putting it on these pedestals safely. And I don't know of a hard point back there, but it must be where the engines sort of mount two positions and that must be one of them. Gosh, this is beautiful. I don't think my daughter wants to hang out here anymore, so we'll go inside. Whatever that little red thing is on the side of Oh, there's one on each side. The SRs don't have that. See that? That's a little... There's a nav light, some kind of beacon light underneath it. One on each side. And of course the SRs have a completely different nose. And it was a whole chunk longer as well. Oh, what a beautiful light. the sign here, this one only went 1.6 Mach. This one was nowhere near as fast as the other ones. And I think it only had JP or J57 engines in it. They didn't have the 58s that made this plane so famous. They hadn't quite finished making them when this thing came out. I think. I'm not really sure. Jackie, Jackie scores a scooter. 